Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with another Who Are They video. This time we're going to be talking about Dark Eldar. Dark Eldar is actually a difficult one to talk about because they've changed over, over the years. When Dark Eldar first came out, they were really gave you the feeling of Cinnabites. Probably know that name. Pinhead, Hellraiser. Yeah, they, the whole fashion black leather chains flying around, ripping people up, sadomasochism, torture thing, uh, pure Hellraiser stuff. But there was really no way to get the Hellraiser mythology, if you will, into 40K. So they had a problem. So that's kind of been dropped. So they kept. The, they're now only Hellraiser in fashion, and even that's really changed away from that now with the latest figures. I'm going to tell you how I played them. Um, I built the, when, when when third edition came out. You you know you either had the people playing the Dark Templars or you the Black Templars, or you, or you had the Dark Eldar. And I played the Dark Eldar, and when I played the Dark Eldar, and I started reading their background about these are the, you know, the Eldar from Eldar survivors before the Craftweld Eldar. So you were left a wide, 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 wide berth and latitude to determine what the pre-fall Eldar would have been like, which I had fun doing. I'm also happy to see that that, that, that Games Workshop finally, after all these years, has picked up on that being the main point that you should look at about the Dark Eldar, is that they are the Eldar before the fall. And now some of them looked at it it's the same as the Chaos Dwarf story where, oh, they were left behind and abandoned in the mountains and Chaos came along and they got, they learned how to basically join them and, and if you can't beat them. But not really fully turned into Chaos Worshippers, more like they gained a mastery over it and so that they could just uh, use its power but against it and still survive they really <clears throat> had that feel to them and for a brief while games workshop kind of agreed with that point of view with them but now they took them and turned them into space vampires which would have been fine hey could they could have gone with the uh, life force movie google that life force it has a uh, patrick stewart in it um with space vampires they could have gone with that, but now they have this kind of, I don't know what it is. So I'm going to just tell you, this is what Dark Eldar for me. This was my army idea. This was my fluff behind it. And I, and I hope people like this idea of Dark Eldar. And maybe if enough of us get together, we can just say, ha, 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 the old fluff is gone. This is really who the Dark Eldar are now. Um, basically, I took all of the arrogance, all of the pride, all of the uh, 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 laziness and debauchery, and I said that would have been at its height before the fall of the Dark Eldar. And if you and, and if you go and now, you're going to have some cults, the pleasure cults, who are going to be doing that openly chaosy stuff. But the vast majority of society is just going to be extremely arrogant people who who think they're entitled to everything, uh, who who and who would never have lifted a finger in their life to do even the most. Um, simplest manual labor it's just completely beyond them so how would such a race look at all of the other races of the galaxy and i just said well jen you just have to look at us imagine imagine us look at us on this planet and even us 
even humans in different socio castes in society how do they how do they treat anything that they believe that they are far 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 superior or above us and if you look at eldar who basically look at humans and all the other races as just animals there you go just think about it that way how would we look at it how do we look at other animals any other animals they're just things for us to consume and use and whatever for whatever our needs are now they have this whole feeding on suffering to regenerate now and i said but you don't need to make it that complicated you just have to say eldar look at uh, the old eldar look at all the other races in the galaxy as just animals uh and let's say let's just say their medicine you know requires some adrenal extract from humans right and it's a very rare distillation process and it takes probably about i don't know 100 humans just to give you know five doses of this nice little drug that that gives them a, a a sweet high and for them that would mean whatever we go on raids we need to get a few hundred thousand humans because that fulfills our market for this and that's all they would use them for and they would give as much of a thought to that as we give to butchering cows you see what i'm saying that right there would take all of the cruelty that you could imagine but from their standpoint it isn't cruelty from their standpoint everything else is just you know beneath them because that's another very important problem and point i want to make about this thing that they want this plot that they're making that eldar you know thrive on or even chaos thrives on on suffering and the problem with this is from, a, from an epistemological standpoint, is that suffering is a subjective thing. And it's very hard to have anything in physical reality based upon a subjective thing. Let me give you an example. If you're going to say, I feed on suffering, how, how could you ever get a fixed definition of what that is since the concept is so is so subjective? I mean, take, take, take freaking bagpipes. Oh, okay. Uh, to, to some people, it's suffering. To to other people, it's music. Okay. So what is it? You get my point? Or 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 anything? Virtually everything is going to be. Oh, so if you want to talk about physical suffering, uh, you want to bet? Let, do a little casual search of internet porn out there and you will find that people enjoy virtually everything imaginable. Even stuff that most people would consider to be <laughs> suffering. Uh, people like. So how do you do that? How would you do that? Oh, we got a million captives. We're now going to do an intense psychological profile on them to see what they consider to be suffering. Uh, and then work out an individual, you know, intervention for them so that we could uh, coax as much suffering out of them as possible. It's way too personal for these elite people who aren't supposed to even give a fuck if you live or die. Because that's the other thing. You see, the other thing is that if they feed on suffering, there also has to be some type of empathic connection. Why? If you feed on suffering, then at a certain point you have to understand that whatever that thing is over there is suffering. See what I'm saying? That means, I mean, if you don't perceive them as suffering, then, then they're not suffering. Right? That's what it is. That's how it works. So how can you be this, this arrogant, aloof, effete person, but at the same time be tied into somebody else's suffering without having any empathic connection to them and understanding oh this is what you're suffering it, it, it's 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 too personal so that's why i like my idea i pay i play in a homunculus uh, uh coven purely homunculi with a, with a lot of um grotesques and chronos engines and basically just the idea is that they just go out and they they just look at everything else as just animals 
and they have these incredibly self-indulgent appetites and they just believe that you know fuck everything else just in indulge ourselves and we can go down to this planet and you know set the whole thing on fire simply because you know we we want to have a barbecue right we will we'll have something like that and they would and then they would leave and they wouldn't care so it's kind of like they would create all of this suffering but they themselves would have utterly no concept that suffering is being caused that torture is being done any more than we do right when you walk through your supermarket and you pick out various animal organs and oh look here's here's liver we, do we get a cow liver or a sheep's liver or 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 a pig liver oh and if we get that do we get a, a calf liver or, or a full adult one a calf liver would just mean you know oh it's a baby's liver yeah that's more tasty uh, or or how about veal that one's nice that one was you know uh, a, a cow that was literally chained to the ground for the first two years of its life to make sure it never stood up so that its meat tasted nice and tender when you ate it come on for us this just sounds like veal veal parmesan whatever but if you wrote it the other way we are fucking hideously sadistic monsters can you can you see what i'm saying from the from the from the aspects of the cows and that's what i mean they do suffering but it's just because they have utterly no connection to any other life in the in the galaxy that's how i played it um that to me that's who the dark elder are and i hope that wasn't too boring for you until next time bye